We went for test and the engine broke. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you this Volkswagen Caddy. Came to me to get a turbo because the turbo was on the car broke. So long story short, I fitted the turbo, a brand new turbo from Skilo Turbos and the car still wasn't right. And I asked the gentleman what's the um, the setup on the car, like camshaft and pistons, and he told me everything, everything has been replaced. Um, okay, I just stick the turbo on, and after I put the turbo on, the engine runs really smooth and everything, but I have no power still, so I change map sensor, I check the, every single thing on, on the van. Um, on the end, I just, fuck it, I'm gonna take the engine cover, to see what's look like on there. But, but trust me guys, I don't think I have videos from the car was running. No misfire at all, like smooth, really, really smooth running. But it likes, it gets like two, two, two three thousand RPMs, lose all the power, like struggling to go. But I'm gonna show you now what's the problem is, or was. Got the camshaft out and for some reason the camshaft has been seized or it's been on this engine for a long, long, long time. I look at the lifters, the lifters has a, a gap, not a gap, um, let me take one of them off if I can. Ooh. How come? I need to get the screwdriver. You see there it has like a hole on the lifters, on all of them. All of the lifters, they are damaged. But that's not the worst thing. The worst thing is the camshaft. You guys won't, won't believe this. Look at this. This is the camshaft, it's rounded. It's all rounded off. And to being a brand new camshaft or was new camshaft, look at it. All of it, all of them, the lobs is rounded off. Rounded off. I'm gonna bring the new one and put it on the side of this so I can show you. Even the, um, the cups here is on the red. So either they're using incorrect oil for this engine or they have a lot of miles, but I mean like for this to happen, like this minimum 200,000 miles. And the car itself doesn't have 200,000 miles. So, you know, could be done by the oil, but I'm just gonna bring the new camshaft and I'm gonna show you what it's like. So there you go, guys. There is the two camshafts. If you can see, this camshaft is on same position as that. Yeah, you have the shaft here, but look at this. I never seen anything similar to this. I've seen like one or two worn out, but not all of them. Look, look, look here, look at the difference between this one and that one there. It's incredible. and. This metal should be somewhere on the engine. You know, look, this is round. It's not, it doesn't have this anymore. It's so incredible. It's, it's unbelievable. I never seen camshaft so bad as this one. So I'm doing this video not to try to teach anybody a lesson or anything. Just guys, make sure you guys use the, the right oil make sure when you skim the heads you you measure all the tolerance between the valves the lifters and all of that because if the valves ain't right you know the the size of the valve coming out isn't right it's gonna wear the camshaft because it's gonna have the lifter under pressure all the time so on this case 
I'm just going to pretend they done the, the job good because the customer doesn't want to take the cylinder head off. And I'm going to try to measure it from when I take the lifters off. I'm going to try to measure it, see how high the height on the valve. If the height on the valve is on the tolerance, I'll put the new lifters. But I don't really want to take the cylinder head off. But if he needs to, needs to. But you know, it's something. If if the camshaft been replaced, is something went wrong on this or wrong oil or don't know. It's hard to explain to what it is because it's, it's incredible. You can actually see. I think it's the wrong oil because if you see here, this oil is is kind of sticky to to the rocker cover and all of the engine as well. They normally come come pretty clean, but I think once I fit the the, the camshaft, uh, I'm gonna take all this oil off, put new one in. Probably gonna use cheapest oil first, run it for a while, then take the oil off and put the new one in again, because either it doesn't look good, and even this oil they may damage the the, the turbo. You know, because for the camshaft to wear that much, for this camshaft to wear this much, the metal, you know, you're gonna leave little metal thingies. So the metal will be with the oil, you know, on or maybe on the oil filter and all of that. But is it the oil filter cuts everything? I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, just, Something a bit different for you guys. Engine is fucking knocking. Yeah, um, engine is knocking, man. Yeah, when you're trying to rev it. it and the engine knocks. Uh, so. Go outside, maybe we can listen now. Yeah. This is shit. <clears throat> I knew this was gonna happen because. The engine oh. didn't sound right. Yeah, but like I said to I said to him, you know, that metal went somewhere. So I can't tell if there's any more parts worn on the engine. Yeah. Because for the camshaft to wear like that, it must have been some serious stuff happening. But let me see if I can make the noise happen. Okay, I'm gonna start it now. So this is a few months later uh, after we replaced the camshaft and the turbocharger on this car on this van, the Caddy van you've probably seen on beginning of the video uh, the camshaft is all worn all worn, just literally is round, you've probably seen it and uh, the lifters are all damaged and everything and long story short fit the camshaft the car weren't fine uh, I took it down to Louis house it's about 40 miles from me um, we fitted the base tune we went for test and the engine broke completely not completely start to make knocks and lost all the power and everything so um, yeah it's not a very good sign apparently the engine was on this van, only had 500 miles since it's been built. Um, I took the engine off. Took the engine off. Uh, we're gonna be sending the engine to the guy actually built the engine in the first place from this van. And I'm not gonna show you the, the engine. So this is the engine uh, I took off the van. This is the brand new camshaft, only done like 40 miles from my house to Louis' house. And I don't know if you guys can see there, the camshaft is already start to going and only done like uh, 40 miles. And as a customer said to me, the, this engine only done 
500 miles with a new camshaft and everything. So um, I'm assuming by what this is happened here, and all of them, you can tell, and on all of them start to worn out. You can actually see there, you start to, to go. Um, you can see the, all the marks and everything. Look, look at this mark here on this lob. So somehow down the line, uh, this engine's been screwed up big time. I don't believe it's lack of oil pressure because tested the oil pressure on the switch. The oil pressure was fine. And I cranked the engine with a um, rocker cover off and oil gets all the way up here. But it's knocking really bad. I think maybe it's a rod or something like that. But I've been told this engine is a BKD engine. Uh, BKD block, sorry, and I can't actually see the 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 number. I'm probably trying to scrape this off just to see it. But apparently, it's a BKD block with oversized pistons. I don't know. The only thing I know, I'm gonna take the new bits and I'm gonna send back with the old bits to the guy who built it in the first place. So I have removed the camshaft and look, uh, this is in the black lifters. Look at the state of some of them. And they only done 50 miles, I guess. 40 miles, I think from here to Kobe is like 40 miles, but this too has a lot of wear. I think the pistons are hitting the valves, if I'm not wrong, but we're gonna take the lifters off, we're gonna put all the parts in and we're gonna send the engine to the person person and person who build it and they'll let them figure out what has been done wrong on it and they'll bring me the engine back and fit back on the van. But I still wanna see the engine code. Uh I'm gonna turn the engine around and clean that just to see what the engine code is. Well apparently this engine is a bjb so apparently i checked it and this engine is a caddy engine i think this engine is original from the caddy but apparently <coughs> it's changed the roads on it um god knows god knows what's been done to it because it's it's not right and you can't explain a camshaft to work 500 miles. Um, you know, and this is only the 40 miles from here to Corby. It's like half an hour driving. This is like half an hour driving, it's already worn. So, um, yeah, God knows what's been done to this engine. So, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be sending this engine back to. The person person who build it and see what they're gonna do so i got to build the engine for the caddy and um, this is actually a stock block asz block it came off a uh, uh, seat leon um you might can see there here asz um what i done to it i stripped it all uh ported the pistons as you're gonna have a bigger turbo, I do recommend port the pistons to lower the compression down a little bit. Uh, I done the conversion for EDC 16. For who don't know what is EDC 16 is the newer version of the ECUs from, uh, if I'm not wrong, 2004 onwards. All the cars take takes a, a sensor similar to this and if you install this engine on the um, on the car where this goes without to do this the car won't start because it's not reading what we expect to read uh, the sump is still off everything needs to be cleaned um i assume the cylinder head to be skimmed so this is all the gaskets head gasket head gasket set so basically all the seals um uh, cylinder head 
it's been for skim and at the same time they change the valve seals inside the, um, the valves this is the crank sensor and this is the box of the, um, the crank sensor this is the box of the crank seal just to go to show to show you guys which parts i'm using uh pd150 head bolts cylinder head scheme now i'm gonna clean all the the docks and just give it a clean and assembly on the engine then i send the engine on the actually van and there is all the engine assembly back together uh, with new cam belt with all new gaskets new water pump um, so literally everything is new on this engine new head gasket as you can see uh, I ported the pistons to be capable of 300 horsepower Vacomer camshaft and stuff like that uh, the clutch uh, was supplied by the customer it was already the old clutch was on the van so yeah literally this engine has a full rebuild should be with no problems at all one is ready as you can see the engine is in place i had to make a new intake for it because the other one was too restricted um i could turn this filter to this side but you know would be more labor involved more costs involved and stuff like that the van runs really good we already mapped and everything and as you can see guys no oil leaks so um, yeah van drives really good on this intake i made a few extra brackets because they might break eventually with um, with the vibration and stuff like that this bracket was already broken and i had to move this uh, fuel filter out of the way because who put these pipes here before it left as you can see here this pipe touching on um fuel filter housing as you can see all the marks there so i made an extra bracket down there so to pull it out of the way so nothing gets on the way when the intercooler pipes fills up because this you know the silicone expands a little bit but yes guys the van overall is very good very fast and we had few problems with it because it was few issues with the wiring loom and stuff like that but that all solved i had to fix the airbag no not the airbag sorry guys i had to fix as well the um, abs light because he keeps holding the car from launch control from doing launch control so now we can do launch control we can do whatever we like uh, with it um gonna take you for a quick spin and the good thing is about this van the spool is amazing and uh, it doesn't smoke a lot it does smoke a little bit but not massively yeah i'm very happy how hard turned out and yeah of course quite a bit of money involved on it but it's a perfect van now So guys, as you can see, the only light the van has is the light for the bulbs and the airbag and that's a traction control, but I can turn that off and on So and the fuel light. So I fixed all the other issues, ABS and stuff like that. Um, yeah, the van is really good, really fast. Um, I'm gonna drive and I'm gonna try and show you the, the speedo, it's amazing how the turbo spools as well and remember this two turbo is a 2060 VKLR from Skiller turbos it has camshafts and stuff like that everything helps together let's go as you can see guys this is second gear if I press the gas straight away on the, on the rev limiter so it's really amazing and it doesn't smoke at all even the, when the, the veins open there's this loud wah 
Stay tuned for the next one.